this mosaic tips and tricks, I'm going to show you how to use a separator in conjunction to removing some boring operations for shelf pins. Let's select the tall cabinet I have in this job. I'm going to bring it into the product editor, and then I'm going to select my 2D, 3D view product to open up the product viewer. When I'm working in the product editor, I always like to have the product viewer open. Now, if I scroll with my mouse in here, my customer would like this center section open so she can put small appliances in this area. And if you zoom in here, you can see my hinge plate holes and my shotgun boring shelf pin hole operations are almost intruding with each other. Down below, it's the same thing. And above it, it's the same thing also. Let's start in this bottom section right here with the separator. If you go to your interior tab, this is my fixed shelf. Right below the fixed shelf, I'm going to make a selection. I'm going to split that horizontally. When I do that, it will always add an adjustable shelf first. Change the type to a separator. Now you cannot see the separator in the actual cabinet. But I'm going to select above this separator, and I'm going to set this height right here of the opening of the separator at 7 and 3 quarters of an inch. And down here at the bottom, I'm going to select no shelf holes. Look at that. Look how that cleaned that bottom area up for me with those. If I select the area where my customer would like those small appliances, she doesn't want any shelving in there. I can also select no shelf holes, remove the holes from that area. And then above it, we will add one more separator. And I'm going to set the opening height of that separator. Let's just set it to seven and three quarter and no shelf holes. And that cleaned up the boring operations on this particular cabinet. My customer is going to be very happy with that. And I'll be able to send this product right now to production and cut 